We are about to board the Celebrity Ascent, the newest ship in the Celebrity Fleet. And today I'm boarding the Allure of the Seas. It is 225. Let's do this. I am here in Port Canaveral at Royal Caribbean's cruise terminal. It is now 12.59. Let's see how long it takes me to get on the ship. Whoa, this terminal is noise. All right, it is 1.25. It took 25 minutes to get through this line in security, which was quite a long time. However, the check-in line doesn't seem to be very long, so let me see how long it takes to check in. Dang, look at the floating candlesticks, guys. And that took five minutes, so a total of 30 minutes here in the terminal. Not too bad, Royal. Let's get on that ship. So right now it's 2.34, still moving and grooving moving through this thing very fast. This is one of the easiest boarding experiences I've ever had, 2.36. Wow, you guys, every time I step on an Oasis class ship, it just blows my mind how large this is. Guys, look at this, look how cool, and it's decorated for Christmas. This is gonna be a lovely trip. They're playing live music already. The martini bar looks absolutely incredible. First things first, checking out my muster station. I'm heading straight to the muster. I'm just gonna get it knocked out now. Done. Love how easy that is. All right, well, that was fast. <laughs> muster drill, done. The rooms are ready, so let's check out mine. Cabin 714 on deck 11. All right, guys, we are approaching my room here. All right, so the key's in the door. Okay, let's do this. Wow, this room is nice. Oh, guys, look at this. I have the Edge balcony. Now, this cabin cost about this much here at the time of booking this sailing. It's for three days. I think this is gonna be nice. Look at the screens, look at the linens. All right, this is my balcony cabin. Honestly, it feels pretty spacious. Firmly together and rock the strap around your waist. I like it. I am a big fan of TVs being like directly in line with the bed. Like just let's re freaking relax. Sometimes they put them on these uncomfortable things like right in front of that, like the couch. Like, no, I want to lay in bed. I want to snuggle with my wife who isn't here, unfortunately, right now. But, you know, Lissa, how are you doing over there? It's pretty interesting that they have the TV over here in my bed over here. So technically I have to sit right here to enjoy the TV and not on my bed. It's kind of hard to see, especially if I want to sleep <laughs> over here. But since it's just me, I'll probably just sleep here in the middle. How's your room, Cullen? What does this button do? Oh, oh, snap. Oh, that opens. I did not know that. Ah, I can angle the TV. Okay. I'm learning with you guys. This is sick. Much better. Speaking of the bed, it's pretty comfortable. Not too soft, not too hard. Hopefully it's just right for this mama bear. If you let it all the way down, you have to hold your finger here to let it all the way up. I'm like trying to let it do automatically. Yeah, you gotta hold it. It's time for sail away here on the Allure of the Seas. I grab my favorite Royal Caribbean drink, a Caribbean mule. It's very refreshing. And now we're gonna walk the ship sail away. I don't know, Liz. How you doing over there? This room is pimping. So if I close this like this, okay. All right. That's some nice little ambient light that will shine through in the morning to wake me up with some natural sunlight. I dig that. I'm getting pretty hungry, so I decided to come up here to the Solarium Bistro to grab a light lunch. Perfect way to start off our cruise. All right, nice little light lunch. They had a carving station, so there's some roast beef, there's a um, chicken and a salad. All right, y'all, so I got a salad here at the Ocean View Cafe, and I am loving this cafe. I enjoyed it on the Beyond, and I'm enjoying it here on the Ascent. It's the tall ceilings, guys. It's like night and day for a buffet. It makes it feel much, much larger, much more spacious than your standard buffets across really any other cruise line that I've seen. What a nice little selection. Definitely limited, but if you want the basics, this is a nice spot to come. All right, we got some pizza, guys. Let's get a little cheese pool. Let's see what that is like. Oh, uh, that is actually surprisingly cheesy. Like my jokes. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Get in there. This is stupid cheesy. It's not Photoshop, guys. That's for real. Look at that. 
Whew, Jesus. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You know what? Don't leave. I know where the door is. I'll see myself out. Thank you. I'm bringing the pizza with me. You know, I love being able to sit out on the balcony here, watching the ship sail away. It is absolutely beautiful, very peaceful. But I'm getting hungry, so it's time for dinner. So I wanted to come to the room for sail away just for a bit. And look at this, like I'm inside, but outside. For me, this is dope. Like I can see the sunset, uh, this is, this is nice, this is nice. So now I think I'm gonna go get something to drink because the boy's a little thirsty. I am on my way to the schooner bar to get a drink before dinner. They redid their entire bar menu and let me tell you, the drinks look amazing. So let me go order some. Right answers. Oh, I love a good lavender daiquiri. Mm. Peanut butter. All right guys, so I got a smoke old fashioned and they put on an absolute show. Like, I love the way they made this for me. Oh, he's so good at what he do, Darko. So I'm just gonna have to come back because there's so many drinks on the menu that I wanna try, but so some marshmallow, old fashioned? Yes, please. Melissa, well, so cheers to you, cheers to us, cheers to Noah. I hope you're doing well. And you know what? Cheers to Rose, the amazing travel agent. If you're looking to book a cruise, whether it's Celebrity or Royal Caribbean, reach out to Rose at WildTravelGroup.com. Get started. Like, reach out to her. She's great. She's playing this thing again. Cheers to you guys. First night, I decided to check out the main dining room. Now, I have early dining, which starts at 5.15. So, I just sat down. The waiter came to take my order, and I'm going to see how long it takes to get my food. So, let's cook. I'm going to check out Cyprus for dinner and uh, go from there. All right guys, so let's see how fast dinner can arrive on a celebrity. Not that we're racing, it's not a race. I'm just curious, 7.30, we got sat down right away, no reservations. They weren't even expecting us. Let's just see. All right, it's been 18 minutes and my escargot has arrived. I got freshly grilled octopus here and it looks absolutely delicious. Can't wait to dive in. Very tasty. Escargot, classic on World Premium. Order it every single time. Grilled octopus, let's dive in. Oh, that's good, I'm gonna order another one. That's virgin good. Dinner is served. It's been 39 minutes and my steak has arrived. I ordered it medium, so let's check the temperature. The short ribs are here. Can't hear y'all. And it looks so, so good. And right at an hour, dessert has been served. All right, dinner was great. Decided to skip out on dessert. Just wasn't feeling it. But I'm at the theater, so we're going to check that out. It's getting late. And I am getting sleepy. However, there's a silent disco that I should attend. I should attempt to attend. So it's almost 1045. That is what time it starts. Yeah, it literally just looks like Try to see if we can get in. All right, so right now I'm headed to the silent disco because apparently it's one of the largest silent discos they have at sea, right next to Royal Caribbean. So I'm interested to see who's the largest. Um, I believe Celebrity does it in the main atrium. So let's go check that out. All right, so this is really cool because like the entire deck is doing it. Not just like one club, like the entire atrium, the martini bar, like the bartenders, everybody is doing it. That's gonna be a big note for me. Sorry about it. I'm not waiting in that line. I hope you're having a good time, Cullen. <laughs> I am actually going to get a little late night snack before heading to bed at Sorrento's. So I decided to check out the treats here at the Ocean View Cafe and they have churros and cookies, tia fries. Oh, a trace leches. Ooh, 
I'm telling you, y'all, I need to go on. The boy's getting big, but this food looks too good to pass up. Thank you. All right, so I got some fruits, some dried fruits, some meat, kind of like a charcuterie board here. I want some vitamin C, maybe a little bit of protein. Then I'll go to bed, I promise. Sorrento's is a staple here on Royal Caribbean, and you can't come without getting sliced. No teaspoon, but it's still good. Whew. Dinner was really, really good, but I'm thinking about calling it a night. I am so tired. What a day, but I will see you guys tomorrow in Nassau. Well, good morning. It is time for breakfast here again on the Allure of the Seas. I decided to come up to the Windjammer to grab something from the buffet. It's quite a busy morning, so um, let's see if we can find a spot to eat, which is very important. And um, let's see what they're having for breakfast. Good morning, good morning, everybody. Good morning to you, too. <laughs> so I'm checking out the Ocean View Cafe. I just love the floor to ceiling windows guys just look at it guys it's wild okay a couple things guys with the ocean view cafe they've got the good bacon yo like the nice non super greasy you know what i'm talking about they have options for the kids like baked apples obviously there's french toast waffles pancakes all that's over there fresh fruits love the pastry section like the fresh croissants croissant. what i also like is the amount of stations available so there's like daily eggs there's a cereal station uh, there's not a lot of lines in the buffet like there's people waiting in line to get to the next thing it's really spread out really really well so i thought breakfast was pretty good they had a lot of the basics which is always great i did like that they had multiple stations of like eggs and bacon so you could get in there without waiting too long in line this bar here guys like look at this just like ocean view straight up like everyone's just kind of like looking out at the ocean while having breakfast so i'm gonna grab my food but i wanted to show you guys to allow your fellow guests an opportunity to also enjoy a wonderful windjammer dining experience. We make your favorite cooperation in your stand. They're busy in here. Yeah. So, we are in a cabana for a little bit. It's pretty nice. You get a lot of amenities. You get lunch included. You get like six beers, a bottle of champagne, waters. You get to choose from like a bottle of liquor. It's, that's a champagne or a bottle of liquor. It's a... Uh, Right, that's what I'm covering my face, but this is relaxing. I wish there were cabanas on all ships. I know Royal has some like on the Freedom and uh, was it like the Symphony stuff like that? But Alyssa, how's it going over there for you guys? I'm feeling a little adventurous, so I'm going to head back to the back of the ship to see what kind of fun, adventurous activities I can do. All right, that's enough adventure. Time to relax. Lunch is included with the cabana, and so I am going to order some of that said lunch. Can't wait to show you what I got, because honestly, all the selections look absolutely delicious. They definitely have something for everyone here. I wanted to come here into the solarium and relax a little bit because it's an adults-only area. I figured we're in port today. A lot of people would be off the ship. A lot of people were in here, so there really aren't any chairs for me to sit down and relax. This chair is like kind of comfortable. I think it's time to order some food. They got grilled chicken Caesar, shrimp cocktail, roasted turkey BLT, which looks absolutely delicious. The marinated chicken sandwich is what I'm actually leaning towards, but something called the Lumine Signature Burger. Um, I guess I could grab a drink and sit here for a little bit, but it's not as relaxing as I was hoping. I miss my family. How you doing over there, Cullen? Sandwich has arrived. Guys, there's a bacon jam on that. That is delicious. I love the cabana life, guys. Awesome. 
I grabbed a drink at the schooner bar and I'm going to head into the Rising Tides Bar, which is a super cool venue here on the Allure of the Seas. You can ride the bar up and down. You can order drinks inside, but my preference is the drinks from the schooner bar. So let's head inside and ride the bar down to deck five. We are leaving Nassau right now, but I'm also on the carpet. Look at this, this is so cool. Gotta get some drinks and watch Sunset at Sail Away oh, on the magic carpet. And I've got some guests with me. Check it out. Terry and Addie. What's up, family? What do you guys think about the edge so far? Oh, man, it is amazing. Gorgeous. Being back after five years and, yes. and seeing a few of the new changes, I've been wanting to be back on this ship for longer than five, three days, and I still can't do it. Still can't do still it. Still can't do it. And it's always three. I'm gonna book a list of seven. You have to. Yeah, you have, you have to. to. Yeah, you got to. Because you need a whole day just for the spa. Okay. Alright, so I am leaving the edge bar because it is now going down. So I think that's kinda like cool and dumb at the same time. Like, everyone's got their drinks and like, hey, we're gonna go down, everyone off the carpet. Bro, I love watching the sunset. I say just bring your own drink to the magic carpet. <laughs> I don't order them from there. This is so cool, guys. You can just ride this baby down all the way to five. So guys, we are here at a show called Smoke and Mirrors. And you definitely want to come early to this. All right, so that show was super fun. Like, I, I loved it. So I'm trying to compare it to the next thing. It's hard to put it in words, but I would strongly recommend we go to it. Good morning. I decided to come to the Park Cafe here for breakfast this morning. It's one of my favorite spots on an Oasis class ship to grab a quick bite to eat. Good morning, everybody. I decided to come to Eden for breakfast to see what it's all about. The decor here is just, every time I step in, it's just absolutely gorgeous. We got bagels, they got pastries, breakfast sandwiches, breakfast burritos, and in this specific location, you can grab a latte or fresh juice. So they do have like bacon, egg, cheese, paninis. They also have like bagels, turkey, egg, white, and spinach panini. Good start wrap. Um, I grabbed some fruit and a nice bagel with smoked salmon. Thank you. All right, so they give you a pager for your food here. I love that. And when it's ready, I'll come pick it up. Oh, look at the view. So the good thing about waking up and coming to get breakfast around 8 a.m. here at Eden, look at the views. It's only on sea day. Breakfast at Eden is only on sea day. Nice. So nice. Alyssa, kick it back to you. So now I'm just going to enjoy breakfast here in Central Park. It's super lovely to start our day with breakfast outside in the fresh air. How's your breakfast going? Ooh, got a steak and egg bagel, yeah. Ooh. Those are back you get some good. Beautiful day at sea. I think I'm gonna check out the deck here, see if I can grab a spot to relax and enjoy the sunshine. See what's going on up here. Wow, there are a lot of people. All right, guys, got a deck chair. I'm gonna hang out by the pool for a little bit and uh, I'll see you guys. Yes, look at Celebrity. It's just a chair. Chair. Wee. This feels so nice. This feels so nice, guys. The water's nice. Wow. Lots and lots and lots of people down there. All right, guys, got some champagne here. Sitting by the pool, gonna pour up a little bit. 
let that chill. I'm sure it's just been on ice, but. You know, I'm just gonna enjoy this top deck here, deck 16. There's still plenty of things to listen to, but I don't really have to be in it, which is kind of nice. You can sit up here, the ocean is behind me. I got a drink in hand. I think this will do. Cheers. The pool is starting to be a little bit more full. Um, more people are coming out. That's a good thing. DJ's out here. They're playing music. They're having fun. Drinks are flowing. Let's just let's just check it out. They're doing like a little group pool fitness class. It's, it's fun to watch. What's going on on my end of the woods? So, uh, Alyssa, how's it going on your end? All right, I am going to grab some lunch here at the Wipeout Cafe, also known as El Loco Fresh. They have lots of fun Mexican like tacos and quesadillas and chips and all the things. So I'm going to eat there. However, there's quite a line to get in. Y'all, this lunch is crazy. They've got, got grilled ribeye, grilled New York steak strip, fried fish, grilled fish, grilled shrimp, fried shrimp. Guys, they even had lobster. Tons of lobster. Like a huge tower full of stuff available. I got a bunch of fresh fruit some protein here but they whipped out the stops on this this is crazy this shrimp is delicious the view amazing Eden is extremely nice tons of great options for food snacks all right that was quite the wait but worth it because look at all of this yummy yummy food pork beans lettuce made a little taco salad and can't forget the chicken quesadilla i just had me like a pork belly slider that was sinful it was so good so delicious but uh they had other healthy options <laughs> if you don't want a pork belly sandwich or slider they had avocado wraps avocado sandwich it's just like a deli with like salads waldorf salad tons of protein options it was pretty impressive I would compare it to like Central Park, but the aesthetic was just wildly cool. Yeah. All right, so I'm back at the pool right now. We're trying to figure out who is going to be the best volleyball player to beat the crew on Crew versus Sailors, the volleyball tournament. I'm excited to see who's going to win, but it's pretty good. Tonight I have dinner reserved at 150 Central Park and especially dining here on Royal Caribbean, one of my favorites across the Royal Caribbean fleet. So I'm going to go in and hopefully have a lovely meal. <laughs> hey, 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 let's go. <laughs> This entire cruise, I've been trying to get a specialty dining restaurant, and I was finally able to achieve Le Petit Chef. So let's go eat dinner at Le Petit Chef, and we'll bring you guys with me. It is time for dinner. I'm super excited. I found a way to get into Le Petit Chef. There was enough room. It's a new show. Guys, I'm so excited for this. I can't, I can't express it enough. So, I know. I said it earlier, but you can tell from my face, like, new menu, again, new show. First thing is first, 150 Central Signature Cocktail, which is the Urban Garden Martini, fresh with lemongrass and cucumber. Refreshing. I say us, it's me and you. 
we're like, when I say we, it's me and you. Like, we're doing this together now. All right, so let's, let's take a peek at the menu. My starter is here. I ordered the beet salad with goat cheese and crispy prosciutto. So Alyssa's well, probably at like Central Park, like 150 Central. Like, oh my God, it's so beautiful. The martini, it's so delicioso. The cucumbers. Yeah, but do you have a tiny little man talking to you about food? I do. <laughs> Everything's so fresh. So tasty. How's your dinner, Cullen? Garlic and oil spaghetti that protects you against vampires. And your mother-in-law. The <laughs> chef was immediately intrigued and began following the instructions. So the first dish is here and it's a lovely soup, okay? So I thought these were croutons. They're like little grilled cheese sandwiches. They're super good. This lamb wellington is so good. It's a delicious twist on a classic. All right, looks like it's cooked medium. Little, little tries and spots, if I'm being honest, is what it is. Yeah. All right, everybody, wrapping up dinner here. Got my dessert. Check this out. Dessert's kind of kind of interesting, you know. I normally wouldn't order something like this, so I got a backup dessert with a matcha. Oh. So so good. Wow. So let's go check out this pool party. It's moving out here. It's loud. everybody today is the last day of the cruise and now we're going to time how long it takes to get off the ship oh hey howling america maybe we should do something with you guys next let us know in the chat very beautiful day right now it is 7 15 earlier it was 7 10 so about five minutes have passed and i'm already outside so that's nice all right, I just got off the ship. Overall, very quick experience. However, one thing to note, the elevators. Oh my gosh, it took so long to get an elevator. I had to ride up to ride back down. But after I got into the terminal, it was easy breezy, walk right through, and I was off in record time. Wow. All right, so I'm off the ship, officially. 7.20. That's fast. So let us know who you think won in the comments section below. And if you want to see MSC versus Royal, click the video at the end.